Now, um, a, a particle moves along horizontal line according to the equation. Uh, so, uh, this is an equation of uh, displacement versus time. Yeah, uh, this is an equation of um, right uh, displacement versus time. Uh, displacement versus time equation. Uh, s e uh, s equal to uh, you just read yourself where s is the displacement in meters uh, this is important uh, always pay attention uh, the 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 unit okay so he mentioned that this displacement in meter and time is in second you know sometimes the 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 question just change it can change to centimeter uh, and this second become millisecond uh, sometimes the question can be tricky so make sure you check the check the unit correctly. Yeah, sometimes you must check unit correctly. This one is meter or centimeter, or is it meter or centimeter, or is or is it kilometer? It can be also uh, kilometer. Uh, this one seconds or millisecond or what? Yeah. So uh, for now this question is all in SI unit meter and second. Then that's okay. Yeah. So now at two second. Ah, this is the one. At time to second, at this instant, okay. So here you can see specific time. Ah, got specific time mentioned. Yeah, specific time mentioned. Determine the displacement of the particle, the velocity of the particle, the acceleration of the particle at this time, at the specific time. So, uh, the question want us to find. Okay, the question want us to find uh, for let's say for question A. Okay, for question A, he want the displacement at time equal to two second. Uh, and then B, he want us to find velocity at the specific time of two second also. And then question C, same thing. Uh, same thing. The uh, he, the question want us to find the acceleration at uh sorry at two second okay so all of these are instantaneous okay so uh what i can say um uh this one what i can say this one is the instantaneous uh position uh what's the instantaneous position or displacement uh this one is the instantaneous instantaneous velocity uh, velocity uh, at uh, two second. Uh, this one is what you call it uh, instantaneous. Um, sorry, um, instantaneous acceleration at uh, two second. Ah, okay. If you look at my notes. Uh, instantaneous velocity is velocity at specific time. Uh, our specific time now is two second. Okay, so for this kind of question, talking about instantaneous, it must give a specific time. Okay, so specific time. Uh, that's instantaneous velocity at specific time. Yeah, it's not the average velocity for a certain period of time. And then instantaneous acceleration also acceleration at specific time. Ah, and then how to find? How to find uh, the instantaneous velocity? Uh, if given, now is given a displacement versus time equation. Displacement versus time equation. So uh, to find, okay, first of all, let's find the instantaneous position. Yeah, position that means we want to know how far is it from the origin. Um, okay, so let's find out. Uh, for this one, uh, you just substitute uh, two seconds into the equation, then you can find. So the displacement uh, is equal to uh, 3 uh, when uh, substitute the 2 second into the equation. So uh, maybe we just put uh, write out the equation first. Yeah, this is the equation. Uh, so uh, displacement at uh, 2 second is equal to substitute the 2 into the time. Uh, Now let's calculate. Okay, so the answer I get is a uh, twelve meter. Uh, that means it is uh, uh, at 
position the object is at position uh, 12 meter um, uh, uh, to the right 12 meter to the right or upwards uh, or upwards from origin that's the position uh, that's the position of it okay at 12, 12 meter or uh, you know all right yeah that should be that should do it yeah just arrange i'll arrange a little bit my my things yeah okay so at 12 meter to the right or upwards from origin okay now how about the velocity uh, velocity to find the instantaneous velocity what's the equations what's the equation to find instantaneous velocity look at my notes to find instantaneous velocity we differentiate ds over dt that means we differentiate the s versus t equation uh, we differentiate D ds over dt we differentiate uh, and then we put the time equal equal to two second and differentiate first so we have uh, s uh, uh, 3t cubed minus uh, 4t squared plus 2t so differentiate we get uh, you know 3 times 3 you get 9 and then 3 minus 1 you get 2 you know differentiation uh, minus uh, and then uh, 8 yeah, 2 times 4 is 8 and then 2 minus 1 you get 1 and then plus 2 uh, okay plus 2 so now you uh, find the uh, velocity at 2 second so you put in the value sub in the 2 second Ah, so now, what's the answer? Ah, I got uh, 22 meter per second. Ah, you must unit, ah, be careful with the unit, you must put unit. Ah, the final answer without unit, you lost marks. Okay, for final answer. So, uh, is, uh, the velocity is uh, positive 22, that means it is moving at 22 meter per second. Uh, to the right or upwards okay or upwards uh, this is the direction of the motion okay uh, that's the velocity the instantaneous velocity at that time at two second time okay at the specific time of two second maybe so if you put a uh, velocity at three second the time will be different already and i mean the velocity will be different already if you uh, at other time at other time the velocity is different that one you substitute three uh, you substitute three you know uh, then let's let's calculate this one also let's calculate this one also uh, you see this one you get 59 uh, meter per second uh, positive you see that uh, so you see at different time at different time the instantaneous velocity is changing the instantaneous velocity is changing yeah at 2 seconds, the velocity is 22, but at 3 seconds, the velocity becomes 59. So, it's different velocity at different instant, at different time. Yeah? So, that's what called instantaneous velocity. Instantaneous velocity can be the same or can be different at different time. Okay? So, now, uh, now uh, so the answer is 22. Is it correct? Yes, 22 meter per second. That's correct. Now, find the instantaneous acceleration at two seconds also uh, similarly instantaneous acceleration at different time also can be different okay can be different but first of all we need to uh, differentiate we need to okay what's the equation for for uh, instantaneous acceleration uh, like velocity we differentiate from the we differentiate from what from the uh, uh, displacement time equation uh, is a gradient of displacement time graph but for instant acceleration, we differentiate from the velocity time equation. Uh, differentiate from it's a gradient of velocity time graph. Or we differentiate the displacement time equation twice. Uh, we differentiate twice. For velocity equation, we differentiate once. For displacement equation, we di differentiate twice. Uh, okay? That's uh, A is dvdt. V is dsdt. A is dvdt. Uh, okay? So um so A, uh, just now is V, V is ds dt, differentiate from the, you know, differentiate from the dif displacement versus time equation. But um, for this uh, acceleration, it differentiate from velocity time equation. Uh, it differentiate from velocity time equation. 
or we also can differentiate twice from displacement time yeah i just write here uh yeah uh, or it also can be equal to you know uh, just write drag here yeah? differentiate twice uh, d uh, uh differentiate twice from the displacement time equation uh, but just now we already have uh, we already have the velocity time equation we already differentiate from displacement equation to get the velocity equation uh, so we just use the velocity equation we differentiate again we get the acceleration uh, acceleration equation so va is dbdt so differentiate from velocity time uh, what do we get okay uh, what do we get all right so let's uh let's cal uh, calculate so uh, differentiate from this velocity time so 2 times 9 you get 18 uh, 18 to t and then negative 8t become negative 8 and then plus 2 becomes 0 uh, so this is the acceleration time equation okay uh, so what's the acel instantaneous acceleration at 2 second so to find acceleration at the Two second, you see, at different time, uh, acceleration changes with acceleration changes with time. Similarly, the velocity also changes with time. Uh, the position also the position also changes with time. Uh, when time change, displacement change, velocity change, acceleration also change. So, the instantaneous of acceleration at two second is equal to just put in the two second. Uh, just put in the 2 second and uh, what's the answer? Let's calculate. Yeah, 18 times 2 minus 8. Uh, okay, 28 uh, meter per second square. Ah, yeah. So, uh, this one also to the right. The acceleration is to the right. Ah, so, uh, correct the answer. Yeah, acceleration is 28. If you, at different time, at different time, if you put uh, 8 equal to 3, 3 second, and uh, then it become eight times uh, eighteen times three. You see, uh, the, the 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 answer will also be different. Uh, this is what it means by instantaneous uh, velocity or different instantaneous acceleration. Uh, they change with time. Okay, uh, you see, as instantaneous acceleration at two second is twenty eight. Instantaneous acceleration at three second is forty six. Uh, so, but our answer is. Uh, only this lah, yeah. Our answer. This is our answer. All right. Uh, our instantaneous displacement at two second, instantaneous velocity at two second, instantaneous acceleration at two second. Okay, that's how you do it. Yeah, you differentiate the equation, substitute the time, then you can get the instantaneous displacement, velocity, and instantaneous acceleration.